Hello and welcome back to uh, another episode. So in this video we are going to concentrate on the footer. Um, so if we look at the Photoshop design, if we come down the page, in the previous episode we added in the Twitter bird, the Twitter and the follow us text. We also added in the uh, like speech bubble. Uh, we'll just add some text in here and then we're going to finish off with the navigation here and add in this bottom corner. Then once that's complete, the next stage is to sort out this inner content here. So I'm going to change the, the, the design slightly. So this blue uh, sort of box here is going to change. So instead of having these little arrows on the end, it's going to be a square box. But probably this portion here, this will be where we put our login controls. So where they put their username and password to log in. And then this side will, ha will have an image. Um, and then obviously this content will be content like it is in the Photoshop document. So if I just move back down to the bottom, so for the, this right hand section we're going to utilize some code that we've already created. So the navigation, we're going to utilize that code and the your website logo here and your jazzy slogan, we've already done that so that shouldn't be too hard and then we'll just add in this copyright notice here and all rights reserved in the bottom. Uh, and then that's that done. So if we just go over to a visual web developer. So we just need to grab this code here, so the menu. So if we go into the source view, and as you can see here, we've got the ID of nav. So if we just copy the ID of nav and the UR and all the list items inside of it, I'll just do control C to copy that. If we come down to the footer, and we want to be adding this code into the footer right, so it's the right hand side of the footer. So I'm just going to paste that in there. And as you'll notice, when you put, when I pasted that in, the ID has changed because again, you can't have an ID, two IDs with the same name. You can have two classes with the same name, but not IDs. So we're going to call this footer nav. So now that's different to the one that's up at the top. So I'm just going to sort out some of the spacing here, so it's a bit easier to read the code. Okay, so if we just preview that in the design view and come down. As you can see here, here is our uh, navigation, but it doesn't look right because we haven't styled it. So the way we do this, if we go back to the source, and if we come to the ID, so we're going to copy the footer nav. If we go to our style sheet, and then if we paste this just below, like that, so we've got foot, an ID of footer nav. In fact, what we can do, if we come up the page, and if we find the navigation styling that we did earlier, if we just copy all this and bring it all the way down, if we just remove that, if we just paste it in here, so what we're going to do, we're going to change the ID, so we say footer nav, it just saves us writing out all this code again when we've already done it once, like that, so if, uh, ID of footer nav, so I've sorted that, so if we just save that, save the page and go back to the master page into design view, as you can see, the menu, sort, menu has now sorted itself out because we've already created the styling above, so it's just using the same styling as up the top there. If we just preview this in a web page, so if we just come down the page, as you can see there, the menu item is looking very nice, it's right in position where we want it. The only difference uh, in what we have here is ours isn't in capital letters, in the Photoshop design, if I just go back to that, as you can see, they're all capitals, and I think it's the same at the top here as well, so we can change that. So if we just go back to Visual Web Developer, if we do stop debugging, and just close this window here. So if we go to the style sheet, and if we come down, so what we, need, what we can do, we can use CSS to change the uh, capitalization of text. So if we just come in here and do text transform, and we're going to say uppercase, and then if we just go back to the master page, as you can see now, all the links are now in uppercase, but the spacing, they were quite close together now. So looking at the actual design, this left-hand side, there's quite a bit of space here that we can use for the right-hand side. So we just need to tell this footer left to be a little bit smaller. So currently that's at 400 pixels. So if we come to the style sheet and change the footer left to say 350, Go back to the master page, and as you can see now, that's given us a bit more breathing space. We now need to change the footer right. So if we come down to here and add on an extra 50, go back to the master page, there you go. So we'll give it a bit more space now. We just need to space out the list items. 
so if we just go back to the style sheets and what we want to change we want to change the width of the list items so the actual individual uh, boxes here that the text is sitting in so if we just go to the style sheet if we change this to say 83 pixels save the page and go back to the master page you can now see we've got additional spacing in between them and it's looking a lot nicer and it's in capitals as well so if we just preview that in a browser so if we just come down the page and as you can see now we've got our home products FAQ company about and contact all in capitals in the, in the bottom section so now we just need to add a couple of more portions so if we just come out of this and go to stop debugging so if we just go back to our Photoshop design if we just come down the page slightly so we now need to add in this copyright notice and then the final thing will be the logo in the bottom right hand corner so if we go back to visual web developer and if we go to the source view so we want to be coming down outside of the uh, ID of footer nav in fact we need to change the comment here just so we know which one it belongs to like that and then here we're going to create a paragraph tag like that and I'm just going to go back to Photoshop and copy this text here so I'm going to change my text tool by pressing T and then just select all the text like that and I'm just going to copy that go back to Visual Web Developer and then paste it in so we've now got that portion in and um, if we add another line couple of lines down we want to be adding in the logo now and again we're just going to copy the code we've already done it once we don't have to do it again so we're going to copy the div ID of logo and then the closing div like that copy that text bring it all the way down and then just paste it below and again you'll notice that the ID has changed from logo because again you can't have two IDs on the page so I'm just going to format this text a little and we're going to change this to footer logo and again we're going to change our closing comment so now if we just preview this in design view you can now see we've got the text but it doesn't look right because again we need to style it so first we'll concentrate on this copyright notice here which is the p tag so if we just go back to the source so the way that we're going to target this we're going to say so the way we're going to target the p tag is we're going to say any id that of footer right that contains a paragraph do the following so if we just copy the footer right here go to the style sheet and if we just put this near the footer right ID here so if an ID of footer right that has a paragraph tag do the following so we're gonna float it to the right like that we need to know the color of the text so we're going to go back to Photoshop so we're going to change to the eyedropper tool and if we just zoom in with control and plus I think it is probably white so if we just click on the actual text and then go to the color palette it's E1 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 so if we go back to visual web developer and do color so it's going to be E1 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 save the page if we just go back to the master page so as you can see here the copyright uh, has moved over to the right hand side and it's now white but the also the problem we've got as well is with the your snazzy slogan is doing the same thing now the reason it's doing that is because that's a p tag as well so if we just go to the source so as you can see here we've got our p tag of cop the copyright notice but we've also got this p tag here so we, we weren't very specific in when we made that made the rule because we said any ID that's got a footer right that has a P tag inside of it do the following but there's obviously two P tags with, uh, that are being affected now so what we can do in here if we just add on here a class so if we just say copyright like that so now we just need to change the uh, the rule slightly now so if we just copy the word copyright and go back to our style sheet so here so it's our any ID of footer right that has a p tag but this a p tag with a class of copyright um, that should now change the, the way it looks so if we go back to the design view 
So as you can see now, the copyright is still going to the right hand side, but the Your uh, Snazzy slogan has now gone back to the left hand side because it's not being affected by that rule anymore. So the final thing we need to do is actually bring in the image, uh, move it over here to the right hand side and bring the slogan over to the right hand side as well. Uh, so if we do that now, if we go to the source, so the way we're going to do this, we're going to target the footer, an ID of footer logo that has a H1. We're going to add the image to that like we did previously up above. So if we just go to the style sheet, we can probably copy the code we created earlier. So here we go. If we just copy all of this, so this is the original logo up at the top and bring it all the way down. If we just paste it down here. And what we need to do, we need to change the IDs, so footer logo and footer logo again. If we just save the page and go back to the master page, as you can see now, we've got the, the, the image that's come in and the Your Snazzy slogan has come in as well with the right colour. We just need now to move it over here into the right hand position. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the video here, uh, create a couple of more videos and get them uploaded at the same time. So as usual guys, thanks for watching, please leave any comments below, feel free to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video.